Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timo Parker. I'm a vocal coach and I want to help you improving your singing voice. Today I want to explain to you how you can increase your vocal range. There are certain muscles that we have to train in order to gain more range. And one of them, I've actually talked about it already in a previous video, is the yawning muscle. So just for a quick recap, we have a swallowing muscle and a yawning muscle that is attached to your larynx. That means when you swallow, the larynx goes up and when you yawn, the larynx goes down. Because up here we have cartilages and other stuff, the thyroid can actually get compressed and we want to have the biggest sound room in here, so to say. So we want to keep it in the same position or even lower. So we have to strengthen the yawning muscle. And just by yawning, because this is when the muscle gets trained, you can already increase your range by a fifth, which is quite a lot for the fact that you are just yawning. So get started, yawn as much as possible. Don't overdo it, as always, those are muscles, they get tired, so if you feel it gets uncomfortable, just stop there and come back later or the next day. So this is a constant thing that you have to do because you will still swallow more throughout the day than you will yawn. You ha really have to try to train this yawning muscle as much as possible. So when yawning gets very easy and your larynx can actually go maybe all the way down to the uvulum because this is where the yawning muscle starts down here and gets to your larynx, we can do something on top of that. So we have a contraction on this yawning muscle, but what we can do to actually stretch the swallowing muscle at the same time is the following. So first step, we yawn. And if possible, it gets as low as possible. And then when it's in a low position, you stick out your tongue. Because the swallowing muscle is connected to your larynx and to the bottom of your tongue, so the hyoid bone. So what happens if you at the same time stretch your tongue out while you have your yawning muscle working for you, you get a nice stretch in the swallowing muscle and you strengthen even more the yawning muscle because the swallowing muscle doesn't want to be stretched. So it's a, it's a nice way to incorporate a nice balance in here. So if you've yawned already quite a lot, you can try that out. Another thing that you can do to help this process um, is actually to raise your sternum. So what we want to do with our sternum is that we raise it. So the distance between the yugulum down here and the larynx gets actually smaller. So what we do is we keep the whole system or we raise the whole sternum and you just have to find the point. For me, it always feels like you're expanding something in the back between your shoulder blades and then it pulls up. What you should avoid is actually bending over. So what we don't want is a bending over action where you do this and we want something that brings the whole sternum up. So this is something that can help the process of stretching the swallowing muscle when you stick your tongue out. So that means this exercise actually has three steps. First step, sternum up. Yawning, the larynx goes down and then the next one and try. I know it's difficult be because we're using a lot of different muscles. It's a bit complicated at the beginning, coordination-wise. So just try to relax in that, that we really just have those two muscles working and the sternum up. So this is something you should do almost daily basis, I would say. If you feel that your muscles got sore, of course, take a break. But you have to do that a lot um, to gain balance between those two muscles. Really important. It can bring you already up to a fifth of range. So now your larynx is happily in the middle or in the lower register of your throat. That means it can operate smoothly, but to create the sound, of course, we need the vocal cords. So what we do is train another specific muscle that we actually can't see. The muscle we have to train is called cricoid thyroid muscle. So this muscle connects with the thyroid. I'm gonna show it probably here on the side. And this muscle, when it contracts, it brings the whole thyroid into a different position. And because of this contraction of this muscle, the vocal cords get stretched. And this stretch is wanted because this stretch will increase your range. Let's call it for now CT muscle, cricoid thyroid muscle, it's a bit easier. So this CT muscle has to be trained to stretch your vocal cords. The more the vocal cords are stretched, the higher the pitch is. So that's why this muscle has to be very strong to actually reach all those high notes without having to use air pressure. So we want to train this muscle and the way to do it is to start as always in a comfortable range and you try to incorporate this yawning sound already. 
Just keep in mind, this is a training sound. This is not how you're gonna sing on stage. It's just to train the actual muscle, okay? Keep that in mind. So what we wanna do is we're gonna use a soft sound of the voice, something that sounds pretty much yawned. And we're gonna bring the sternum up to position the larynx a bit lower. And then we're gonna try to just yawn this interval. Don't really think about singing, just think about yawning. And we do. By the way, for the women out there, this is what we want to do. It can be any interval, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure that you're not clipping off your vocal cords, that means switching into this falsetto. I call it falsetto when the vocal cords don't meet each other in the full length and the sound changes dramatically to express it in a very simple way. So you try to avoid that and you try to always have the full connection of the vocal cords to have this um, sound that I just did. It has a bit of a classical opera-ish sound, but just stick with it. It just has the purpose to train the muscle. And we want to keep the vocal cords and the larynx in a safe position. So keep the larynx mid-low position and just yawn away. When you feel you can't do it anymore, this is the point where you should return and come back. And this exercise will increase your range dramatically. So don't worry too much about the sound for now. Just make sure that the sound doesn't change, that you don't go into falsetto where you don't use the full length of your vocal cords anymore. So keep in mind, these are muscle exercises. So use the right sound for this muscle exercise. Use your head voice, use this yawny open sound to create it. And as always, don't overdo it. If you feel like you need a break, you get tensed, take a break. You don't have to do those exercises for a long time in one sitting. I would encourage you to do those exercises more frequently, but very short. For example, do a minute of this exercise, tops maybe two, take a break, do it again, um, and spread it out throughout your day. Those muscles that we train are very small, very specific. They get tired very quickly, but they recover also very quickly. So just make sure that you find the right frequency for your workouts. So that being said, make sure you use your head voice and don't clip off your vocal cords. Don't use falsetto because when you use falsetto, this CT muscle is not needed anymore and you will not train it properly. So just, it's a really important point that I can't stress enough. Just make sure that you don't switch into your falsetto. And also as mentioned in previous videos, just make sure that you don't use any air pressure. I talk about on how to breathe when you're singing in this video. So maybe it's also worth checking out. And also a little tip, if you want to increase your vocal range, it's really, really important to have a reference. That means an instrument. It can be a physical piano like I have here. It can be also a digital online piano, whatever. You just need to know where you are at with your voice and where it's going to go when you, when you do exercises. Because if you do it just without anything, you don't really know where you are. So you can really use any instrument, but just for the sake of ease, I would actually recommend you to get a very cheap, electric piano or maybe search online if you can find a piano roll that makes sounds when you click on it. You don't necessarily need a piano but it's really helpful. If you have no idea on how to use the piano, how to play it to piano, if you don't understand music theory, that's totally fine. I have two videos coming up here, one about music theory and one for piano beginners. So if you're just starting out, just watch this video get to know the instrument and use it as a tool for your singing practice. Be patient, be kind with yourself. Building range takes time, depending on your training frequency and also the way your muscle responds to the training. So please don't get discouraged. Just stick with it, go on and do it over and over again. And if you practice frequently, you will see results in your singing. And just do those little exercises that help you building range. If you've made it so far to the video, thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. I have more voice training videos coming up soon here. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.